he's not going to win the black vote or the Latino vote or the Asian vote or any people of color vote. He, he knows this. But he also knows that he cannot lose white suburban women. And white suburban women are a predominantly Republican demographic, but they are also more pro-choice, more, more uh, pro-gay rights. They're, they're generally more moderate on social issues, and they have a problem with voting for a racist. And it's very clear, the polling has shown very clear that the American public sees Donald Trump uh, overwhelmingly so. Even Republicans see him as a racist. Uh, some some polling actually euphemistically calls it problems with race, <laughs> you know? and uh, and those numbers jump even higher. Like if you say, well, okay, he's not racist, but does he have problems with pe- people oh different God. races? And those numbers skyrocket. So he is basically trying to show to suburban white women that he's not racist. Now he is such a dumbass that he can't even accomplish that without being a complete jackass about it. And, I mean, <laughs> you're not proving to anybody that you're not racist by doing a town hall full of white people with Sean Hannity. I mean, there, nobody, nobody is is uh, confused or or, uh, or persuaded otherwise. But that's what he's trying to do. He's basically trying to negate the the hostility that a key conservative voting bloc has against them. Uh, again, I'm not sure he's being good at it, but that's what he's trying to do. Oh, he can't be doing good. I mean, how is it appealing to suburban white women to say we need to make stop and frisk national? How how can they not? If suburban white women are sophisticated in these matters of race, they can read right through that and know that that's racist. So I'm not understanding. He doesn't get that. Well, I, I, I think this is this is where it, him being a, a clumsy jackass comes into play. <laughs> wow. He's trying. He's trying to. And remember, he's being advised by the Breitbart crowd, right? So, so oh, yeah. he doesn't exactly have a and, team of geniuses. He, he's also, him. but let me say, he's also being advised by a, a, a group of African Americans that is misadvising him. Um, a group of African Americans. Um, some of them in 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 some of these churches, um, a handful of them that promote the prosperity gospel. Because he brought that up in Detroit, Prosper- prosperity, and uh, that's what he was saying about that. Now they're misadvising him, but what's interesting is the same group of pastors, Scott and Burns, and the rest of them, who are saying we need law and order, Master Trump. Uh, that was a language spoken when Hillary Clinton says super predator, to be very honest about it. You know, I, I, I was saying that the other day, the whole Clinton crime bill, super predator and all that. Uh, the Clintons could not have done that and did not do that without the support of african American, some African-American leadership at the time, including the Congressional Black Caucus and black clergy. And everybody realized the error of their ways. But Trump's still getting that advice. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm not. It, it's 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 actually kind of bizarre. You're right.